Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Space Station Conservation live stream event brought to you by the folks at Duke Energy. My name's Greg. I'm from the National Theater for Children, and I'm coming to you live from Space Station Conservation located on the planet Mars. <laughs> I'm the, I'm the <clears throat> curator here on the Space Station. A curator is kind of like a librarian or a media specialist. In fact, it's my job to sort through the millions of videos located here on the station and beam them directly to you. Now, I see we're joined by a few schools this morning. I'd like to say hello to Clegg Park Elementary, Cocado Elementary, and St. Francis Catholic School. Thanks for joining us on this fine day. Now, you might recognize some of these characters from shows we've performed at your school in the past. And later on in the show, you'll be introduced to more characters from Space Station Conservation. Now, during the show, you're going to see a few scenes, and there are four things we are going to teach you. You're going to learn how to measure energy use, how energy is wasted, how to conserve energy, and what renewable resources are. After watching these scenes, you'll be ready to be a certified energy saver astronaut yourself. I'll be asking you questions throughout the show, but you'll also have a chance to ask me some questions. All you need to do is fill out the chat form below the screen, and I will do my best to answer the questions before the end of the show. Now, before we move on, there is one cool thing I would love to tell you about. It's totally free. Um, no, I think I'll talk about that a little more toward the end of the show. Now, teachers, we would love to hear what you and your students think of our live stream event. Please go to heyteachers.org and use the access code provided. That will take you to an evaluation that will only take a couple of minutes. Now, these evaluations really help us out because we provide our programs to your schools free of charge. Now, let's get rolling. In our first scene, you will meet Harmonica Mars and Sally Tide as Harmonica prepares for blast off. Now, as you watch the first scene, listen for this tone. When you hear that tone, you'll know the actors are talking about something important and we'll be talking about that a little bit later. After watching this scene, you should be able to answer how to measure energy use. Light pressurization is underway. <laughs> Excellent work, Harmonica Mars. At this rate, you'll pass these astronaut tests and be able to blast off from Mars to start the first human colony on the Red Planet. The whole planet is counting on you. Thanks, boss. Is there anything else I have to do? Just two things. First, do you have a catchphrase? Catchphrase. Something really cool to say when you land on Mars, like, this is one giant leap, or Houston, we have a problem. Liquid hydrogen um, tank is under <gasps> pressure. How about, hey, people of Earth, how about some groovy jazz harmonica? <laughs> I'll uh, keep working on it. What is the last thing I need to do before I blast off? There's some important information you need to know before you can operate the rocket. Why? It's not like going into space is rocket science, hey! That's exactly what it's like. Oh. What do I need to know? There's all kinds of things on the rocket that run on electricity. What do you know about it? Absolutely nothing. What? But the rocket blasts off in five minutes! Oh, but? There is one thing that I do know about. What's that? Jazz harmonica. Will you stop? Sorry, boss. I, I guess the clock is ticking, isn't it? I'll say. Let's get started with energy. Energy is what makes things change. It is the ability to do work. It takes energy to run laps around a track. It takes energy to make your muscles move. And it takes energy to boil water. 
It takes energy, like electricity, to make things like refrigerators, TVs, computers, and phones run. But where do we get the electricity from? From a power plant. You see, at the power plant, electricity is made by using natural resources, like natural gas. We use these resources to boil lots and lots of water. But, but what happens to the boiling water? The boiling water then creates steam, which can be very powerful. If you've ever seen boiling water in a tea kettle, you know just how powerful that steam can be. Well, but, but how does steam from boiling water create electricity? I was just getting to that. We use this steam to make a turbine to spin. A turbine is like a giant spinning fan. Attached to the turbine is a magnet surrounded by copper wires. And when the magnet spins inside the copper wires, that creates electricity, right? Oh. That is so awesome! It deserves a song with... Oh no. Jazz harmonica. Jazz harmonica! Sorry, but, but how do we know if we're using too much electricity? Is there any way to measure it? There sure is. Let's start with what a watt is. What a what is? A watt. What? A watt. What? Will you listen? For example, a 100 watt light bulb will light up if 100 watts of energy are moving through it. But that electricity has to be continuously running through it or it won't stay lit. Oh, a watt! Right, now let's talk about a kilowatt. Whoa, kill a watt? What did that watt ever do to you? Hey! We really don't have time for jokes. A kilowatt is a word that means 1,000 watts. So, if you have 10 100 watt light bulbs, that means you would need one kilowatt of electricity to keep them lit. Then what's a kilowatt hour? A kilowatt hour, or a kWh, is a measurement of how much electricity your house uses. A kilowatt hour means using 1,000 watts for one hour. Okay, so if we keep 1,000 watts of electricity running through these 10 light bulbs for one hour, then we will have used one kilowatt hour. Correct! Oh, that makes so much sense! Well, I guess I know everything about working a rocket ship. And just in time, you have 10 seconds to get on the rocket and blast off for Mars. Oh, but do I have time to play one farewell tune on my harmonica? No, get going! Oh, right away, boss! Okay, see ya! 13. Wait a minute! That's not everything! You still don't know how to land? Seven, That's the crushing six, part! Five, oh! four, we run from here. Harmonica makes that seem so easy. Oh, but did you know that if you try to play a harmonica in outer space, it doesn't make any sound? It's true. Before we continue, I'd like to say hello to some more people watching us today. I'd like to say hello to Farmington Elementary, Creek Valley Elementary, and also people all the way in Vermont and California. Now, did you hear the tone in that scene? Our actors were talking about how electricity is made. Let's review. We know that electricity is made at power plants and that we measure electricity in watts, kilowatts, and kilowatt hours. Let's have a little critical thinking activity. I will ask you a question and then you'll have 10 seconds to talk it over with your classmates or your teacher or if you're at home with a grown-up. Here we go. If one light bulb uses 5 watts of electricity, how many watts would two light bulbs use? Have fun, you have 10 seconds. <laughs> Time is up. If one, each light bulb uses five watts of electricity, 
then two light bulbs would be five watts plus five watts, or 10 watts of electricity. Now that